It all gets underway, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, tomorrow on TSN, TSN Mobile TV. A little bit of interest there for sure. Ricky Ray back at Commonwealth wearing double blue. And the man in the trade, Stephen Giles, starts for Edmonton. Lions start at the 31. The big guns to the right side. Play action fake to Brown. Lou lay on a roll. here at BC Play Stadium. Dad there, son first on the scene. Wally Buono will be down there. Milt Stiegel heading across the field to congratulate him. The corner out, Travis Lule on a scramble, working on Alex Suber. Outside release for G. Roy Simon. Gets in behind coverage on the scramble, and Lule drops it in there. And it's correction of 56 yard play that gives G. Roy Simon. Over 100 yards of the game. Coach in CFL history, now the GM of the Lions there to congratulate G. Roy Simon. Thank Here's you. his offensive coordinator, Jacques Chapteling. And this was planned if the record broke tonight. He, there would be a special ceremony involving the Simon family, Wally Buono, and the Lions get a chance to celebrate. Commissioner Mark Cohan is here. And everybody's on their feet. You smashed that record in style. You are Superman. Congratulations from all your fans across Canada. One favor we have to ask you, just keep on playing for many more years. Congratulations. All right. Well, he says he plans to. First of all, I want to say congratulations. It's been an honor playing with you. It's also been an honor sitting back and watching you play. This is well-deserved. This is hard work paying off. Most people don't know, but G. Roy Simons was once on the practice roster. Now he's the all-time leading receiver in CFL history. I wish you much, much pleasure in your future endeavors. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, the BC Lions organization and all our fans, thank you for being G. Roy. You've been a tremendous ambassador on and off the field, and you're very deserving. So, congratulations. I know you got a lot more left in you, buddy, right? Let's go get them, okay, bud? First two years of Winnipeg Blue Bomber, and he said, Good things seem to happen when I play Winnipeg. And wondered why everyone was talking about getting the record and retiring. And he said, I'm not sure why people are talking about retiring. I feel like three or four more is very realistic. <laughs> There's the pose. 
Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody that came out. I want to thank the Winnipeg Blue Bombers organization because you guys gave me my first shot in the CFL. I want to thank the BC Lions organization for being a first class organization. Someone that I'm proud to play for. I'm proud to wear this orange jersey. I want to thank my family. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. All the support. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I love you all. Thank you for Tracy, Jaden, Jordan, Javon, Genevieve, my dad, G Roy, my mom. Thank you all. Former teammates. No one does it by themselves. So thank you. This isn't about me. This is about the BC Lions organization giving a kid from Johnstown, Pennsylvania an opportunity. Thank you all, I love you. you think about the record setting moments we've witnessed in recent years, guys like Damon Allen, Anthony Calvillo, G. Roy Simon. It's no wonder we all love the Canadian Football League with class people like, like this. Well, Wally Buono mentioned it, saying he's been such a great ambassador of the game of football on and off. And in the off season, G. Roy Simon spends his time after his training to get ready and prepared for another year, working with kids in the community. He coaches a minor football league team here in Vancouver. And if, if anyone's wondering why he is the best of the best, it's because everything that G. Roy Simon does when no one's watching, And this might not be the only record this year, Suits. He's got the yardage record, and now he's 78 catches away from Ben Cahoon. And there is a chance that he will open and close the season by claiming two of the most important receiving records in Canadian Football League history. But I'm sure he just wants to enjoy this one right now. But he does have his eye on Ben Cahoon. Take another look at the history maker, 56 yards, Lule to Simon. Four catches in the first half, got him to with 18 yards. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers battling all game long to not allow him to get it. But this corner route with Travis Lule on the scramble, the defensive secondary hesitated, and that allowed Simon in behind coverage on the corner. Fourteen-year veteran, the first two years in Winnipeg. First catch ever was from Kerwin Bell, and now a record breaker from Travis.